Regrets? I don't think I have any. I really don't think I have any. I, if I had my life to live all over again, I'd probably live it exactly the same way. I'd make different mistakes. But I'd live it the same way. I'd, I'd live it the way I pleased, which is, which is what I, I always did. My dad would get very fed up of me every now and then and say, you know, go off and live your life the way you want. He never knew I was always doing that. And so, whether it's been a failed relationship, whether it's been a disappointment of acceptance, whether it's been a part I fared abysmally in, whether it was a part I never got, uh, or anything, I have absolutely no regrets because I did what I chose to do. And, and I think I'm very fortunate in that. And I don't think many people can claim that, you know. Even a lot of actors, I find, by the time they hit their 40s or 50s, they find themselves getting bored. And before they knew it, they were trapped in that cycle. I never wanted to be trapped in that cycle. I never wanted to end up doing the same part in movie after movie, uh, no matter how much money I was paid for it. And I don't scoff at the money. The money was a pretty big incentive, I have to say. But uh, I found I was earning enough <laughs> without having to do the same part again and again. So I, I escaped the trap of typecasting, which the film industry revels in and which they're just dying to put you into a pigeonhole and slot you there forever. And a lot of very worthwhile actors have never been able to get out of those slots. I had resolved I will not let that happen to me. And it didn't. As for the parts I didn't get, I don't covet, I really don't covet what goes to another. Uh, not getting the part in Gandhi was perhaps the biggest disappointment. But I, it, it did not shatter me or anything of the sort because I knew that the guy who got it was better qualified than me. And uh, that's what I believe. That's what my parents taught me.